Graphing basic parabolic functions. The basic formula for a parabolic function is x squared equals 4py. From this equation, we can derive certain aspects of the parabola that make it easier to graph. The first would be to identify the focus. The focus is a point created by 0, comma, p, where x equals 0 and y will equal the p value from the equation. The directrix is equal to y equals negative p. If we wish to graph the equation x squared equals negative 6y, we would first find the focus and directrix to begin the graphing process. First, we will identify p. 4p equals negative 6. Therefore, dividing by 4 on both sides gives us an answer of p equals negative 1.5. For this situation, we now know the focus is x equals 0 and y equals negative 1.5. On the coordinate grid, this point is right here. The directrix is then y equals negative of negative 1.5, giving us a line of y equals 1.5. This is a horizontal line at y equals 1.5. We next look for the origin. Because no values are added to either side of the equation, the origin is at 0, 0. Therefore, our axis of symmetry is the y-axis. We then choose another point to identify our parabola. I'm choosing the point x equals 3. By plugging 3 into x, we get an equation of 3 squared equals negative 6y. This gives us a value of 9 equals negative 6y. Dividing by 6 on both sides, we get y equals negative 1.5, giving us a point on the parabola of 3, comma, negative 1.5, where x equals 3 and y equals negative 1.5. Knowing that a parabola is symmetrical, we know that at negative 3, negative 1.5, we would have a third point for the parabola. With three points for the parabola, we can now draw our parabolic graph. If we change the formula to y squared equals 4px, this changes the focus value to p comma 0, where x equals the p value from the equation and y equals 0. And our directrix is created by the equation x equals negative p, which would give us a vertical line through x at negative p. Graphing the following and finding the focus and directrix for the equation y squared equals 12x, we again begin by solving for p. 4p in this case equals 12, and dividing by 4 on both sides gives us a value of p equals 3. This gives us a focus of x equals 3, y equals 0. This would be the point at 3, 0 on the coordinate grid. We then solve for the directrix, knowing that x equals negative value of 3 is the line for the directrix. Our line is x at negative 3, giving us a vertical line at x equals negative 3. Again, because no values are added to either side of the equation, we know the origin of the parabola is at 0, 0. This gives us a line of symmetry of the x-axis. I chose the point y equals 6 to get us the next point in the parabola, giving us a value of 6 squared equals 12x, 36 equals 12x, and by dividing by 12 on both sides, we get a value of x equals 3. This gives us a point on the parabola of 3 comma 6, where x equals 3 and y equals 6. Knowing that this is a parabola, we know that there is a symmetrical point at the point 3 equals negative 6. Now having three points, we can now draw our parabola. And this is the completion of the parabolic graph for y squared equals 12x.